Hello everybody today we have amongst us Mr Subodh Narayan Agrawal he is founder and chairperson of BioCube Technologies welcome to BW Business World Mr Agrawal Thank you Urvi thank you for having us pleasure and i'm joined by Ashutosh Agrawal who is the managing director of BioCube also in case uh, if he is required to assist us in any of your questions Uh, Mr. Ashutosh Agrawal, I would like to uh, extend a hearty welcome to you as well. So recently, we learned uh, via a tweet of uh, Mr. Amitabh Kant that uh, BioCube is entering into a collaboration with Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. Can you tell us something about that? Uh, to correct, uh, his tweet was not about uh, partnering with social justice. That's a different thing altogether. But that that has been done. uh mr uh, kant's tweet was just talking about biocube in general and from the day one when we had given him a presentation he has been very appreciable of the efforts done by biocube in being one of the first uh, technological innovations out of india and such a advanced product as of now biocube is the world's only first and only multimodal biometric platform in the world and he has been very appreciative appreciative of that and his tweet was only on that product and uh, very surprisingly and mentioning that it is a path breaking product and we are very flattered by that tweet but yes there was another tweet by the ministry of social justice they had a press con- conference and launched the product and the pm dutch dutch yojana has been launched on the biometrics platform of biocube that's that product all about How does this particular uh, technology behind uh, BioCube function? So I'll quickly try to explain. See, uh, the the real uh, hardcore technology behind the entire platform of BioCube is something uh, which is uh, relatively new, which is computer vision enabled by artificial intelligence. So what it is, uh, what BioCube has been uniquely able to create is a multi-factor, multi-modal. platform which is able to authenticate the personal identity of a person across various modes of communication whether it is your mobile phone or your desktop or even a camera as a sensor that you see in malls and all those ip based camera so what we have been able to do is to give the personal uh, to give an individual the choice and the power to authenticate his presence across these modes of communication and interaction um i was uh, doing some reading and i found out that uh, biocube also deals with facial recognition which is one of its uh, key uh, technological products so uh, in an era where people are uh, comfortable with say thumb prints or uh, any other impressions or uh, pass codes why do we need uh, something uh, like a facial recognition technology I uh, only to correct you we are not just facial recognition it is a multi model which is face with liveliness detection voice uh, eye socket which is unique palm and all 10 fingers first of all there is no platform in the world today which can offer you multi model biometrics without any hardware which is a very important factor because the hardware is very expensive to do roll outs cost billions of dollars whether in uh, private institution or the government institutions there are programs which the governments are not able to do just because of the cost factors and many programs which become cost ineffective that's number 1 number 2 there is uh, multi model biometrics give you a very high level of security facial recognition alone does not give you as much there is no facial recognition which is 100% perfect in the world nobody we are as advanced as anybody else we are as good as anybody if not better but even then we are not 100% but the moment you have two or three biometrics your accuracy goes beyond 100% and in today's world where the frauds and and uh, has become very high the security has become a very big challenge for any institution if the issue of security and the for people in the financial world or insurance world and other world is fraud there a multi model biometrics gives you the most secured option to ensure that the right person is using the right thing and that is the reason why we have done multi model biometrics and that's what makes us unique and also coming to your point of fingerprints 
first of all there is nobody which can do fingerprints without hardware so which is one cost second let's look at a country like india where there is a liberal class there is a farmers when they work so hard you know uh, into the field and there's so much of physical labor the fingerprints disappear also when the people start aging the fingerprints start to distorting so if the technology is only fingerprint based as it is today in most of the systems it starts having a challenge that the people cannot get the right verification and thereby multi model becomes very important even coming to the eyes normally you see for eyes people use the iris scanner which is very expensive also it puts laser beam into your eyes every time you use it so it damages your eye every time it cannot be used every day in the in now so what we have developed is a very unique technology of eye socket you know eye socket of each human as as unique as the iris while the iris can be fooled very easily by using a specialized lens the eye socket cannot be fooled unless you do entire plastic surgery so it makes it more unique so there are features like that which have been done to make the product more secure for the uh, user and good for the security also another point which is very important for us to highlight the data is not shared with anybody data stays on user's mobile today a data privacy issue has become very important all over the world people are talking about data privacy user profile whichever instrument you are using your data is being shared and stored by various people in our case the data stays on your own instrument it doesn't go anywhere which is again make sure that your data cannot be stolen and it is in an encrypted format and so on and so forth since we're on the topic of uh, data security uh, it's quite well known that uh, the last one one and a half years has been very uh, difficult for most companies with respect to keeping the user data private we have heard about massive data leaks so when we talk about biometrics be it uh, thumbprint or iris scan or facial recognition how do you plan to win the consumer confidence in this regard and how do you plan to assure the user that uh, they have to trust you with their data and uh, it is safe to use so urvi as i explained we don't take any data we don't store any data the data is in user's own device so the question of data privacy this is the highest level of data privacy anybody can think or do in the world this is distributed data architecture so the data is staying on the user's own device in a encrypted format so even if they lose their device nobody else can extract the data because the key, encryption key is not sitting there while uh, whether you use x phone or y phone or a z instrument the data is stored by them so the data theft issue doesn't arise here you can't have a higher level of security than this dreamt today Okay I think the word encryption is somewhat familiar to us given that a lot most of us use WhatsApp and uh, uh, we have heard the the phrase that it is uh, encrypted and safe so I think uh, we can figure out uh, roughly no, how the technology I'm, I'm, works Urvi I'm sorry Urvi Urvi I'm sorry to interrupt you but in case of WhatsApp or anybody else your data may be encrypted but it is sitting on some server in mm-hmm. our case the data is not sitting on any server anywhere in the world we don't have a server to store data neither is anybody else the data is sitting on your own device in an encrypted format so when you have a data on your own device it nobody else can access it unless they steal your device and when they steal your device it is encrypted so they can't use it okay that's uh, lovely to hear that we have uh, such a technology that doesn't uh, store user data at all uh talking about uh, the various developments what are some of the new products that biocube is uh, planning to come up with in the forthcoming times too many different products like as of today the products which we have done is based on education is for uh, immigration and visa uh, the product we are working on is uh, as of today is on banking working on products for uh, like uh, public distribution but now we are getting into different products which will be for hospitality for insurance companies and some more which ashutosh can elaborate more i will not like to steal his thunder so so extending the application of biocube's unique technology platform so the key features remain that we do not need any additional hardware except the camera of the person's own mobile phone 
uh, the data always resides in the user's device, so which which makes it very secure for them. So based on that, there are certain new applications that uh, that have that we are de- developing on things like uh, you know personal identity being managed when the person is using an aspects such as the border control. So when you have people crossing the border. That is the time when we are in the border control as well as the uh, immigration agencies need to validate the identity of the person. And the, the, this technology is being very uniquely adopted in a very uh, innovative solution that we have already produ- uh, uh, developed and it is being implemented at a pilot stage with some of the government agencies in government of India already. And then say, for example, using the personal identity, the biometrics of the person, whether it is face and when you add an additional authentication, which is either the palm or the voice, then what happens is you make uh, that transaction 100% secure. So just as you have a user login ID password along with uh, OTP, so but those are knowledge based authentication. We use the personal identity of the person, which is the physical being of the person. Uh, let us say, for for example, for facial uh, 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 biometrics. Here we use something called liveliness detection. So if I am authenticating my presence by doing my facial biometric validation, then it is ensuring that I as a person was present and validating it at that point of time with the, uh, on that geolocation uh, with my own presence so the liveliness detection takes care of that aspect uh, you were talking about some other uh, collaborations that uh, you have with the government can you tell us about them and uh, what technology are you flying at the moment so some of uh, so there are two aspects to this part a is some of the civilian use of technology that we have that we can discuss say for example with one of the government agencies ministries of government of india which is ministry of social justice we are working roll out uh, some of the biggest schemes of government, welfare scheme of government of India, which is around the training aspect of it. And in phase two, we will have the rehabilitation of the socially backward people. You know, so how does the government ensure that the scheme that they develop here in Delhi are seamlessly deployed and the advantage is being derived by the right people who have been identified for the scheme. So we are we have created a proof of concept that ensures 100% leak proof government funds being transferred to the right beneficiary. That has been that is one. Secondly, as I was mentioning with one of the security agencies, the government of India, we are doing uh, fence control system, border control system, which will take care of one of the. We biggest. can't talk about Ashtos. We can't talk about. So sorry. So so you know those those, those kind of projects uh, are somewhere that we are already working with the government of India. Okay, so uh, given that BioCube has already done some uh, seminal work and uh, is also engaged in multiple projects at the moment from what I can gather, uh, what is your plan uh, for BioCube in the future, say five years down the line? Do we have uh, international expansion? Are you going to be supplying similar technology to say the US government or the Russian government? Russian we don't know at the moment, but US for sure. We are already talking to two of the largest players in their own field in US already and uh, uh, we are already engaged in UAE we have already done a pilot in Philippines so yes we will be going international within the next 12 months in fact some of the uh, some of the governments uh, in in Africa we are working with already at the documentation stage or the visa immigration process so you know so those are some of the very critical Processes where the from the aspect of personal identity to the data security to the government and national security, all those aspects, and that is what uniqueness. Uh, what that is what is the uniqueness of BioCube's technology that we are able to you know uh, collaborate across multiple domains, wherein the personal identity of a person is the centerpiece. Okay, uh, so my final question for you is, uh, Mr. Agrawal, before we wind up. Uh, uh, given that biometrics has been uh, a buzzword for a while now, say five years or ten years, uh, that this technology has uh, been uh, around and people are planning to say build startups around it. Uh, how is uh, BioCube standing out from uh, the existing players in the market, and how you how are you uh, disrupting this space? See, in a very simple way, 
there is no other product which is any compared at any competitive today of course are the people working on a similar product the answer is yes but there is no other platform which has got multi model biometrics on mobile without any hardware the highest maximum what people have is fingers and uh, uh, fingers and face and that also only one company in the world nobody else and no one i'm using the word no one in the world can do multi uh, model verification people can do from mobile to their mobile we can do from one mobile to another mobile mobile to laptop mobile to desktop mobile from camera mobile from webcam we can do online offline so there are features which as of today we are unique and that why we are disruptive is because there is no infrastructure cost at all there is nothing similar existing on the planet today maybe in 6 months one year two year down the line and uh, by the time the copies will come out of the product but we will be far ahead with new innovations by then and even improvising these that's really uh... for example we can for example we can do temperature on the phone unique I, i'm sure you would have never heard of it that a temperature can be done on a phone normally you need a thermal gun thermal camera or electromagnetic rays we can do that we can do mo- face recognition on mobile without uh, with mask and so on and so forth so they are unique things so we have uh, as of today we remain unique i don't know about future we only hope we remain ahead of the ahead of the curve in the future also yes hopefully it is uh, also very heartening to see that such uh, novel technology is coming out of india where uh, r and d is not uh, exactly our forte or so they say uh, so with that uh, thought with that thought and uh, a positive outlook i'll uh, take your leave for the day thank you so much mr no, agrawal no. and uh, mr ashutosh agrawal for uh, joining us no, and uh, no. good evening to both of you thank you ruby thank you very much for giving the opportunity but i must tell you a lot of this credit goes to the current government the mindset of the current government is such that you can do this kind of innovation here so whether you like it or not you know you have to admire uh, uh, the vision of prime minister you know who has been so keen on supporting uh, projects which are uh, developed in india which is like atmanirbhar bharat or make in india for example you know i am a british uh, subject i live in england i could have done this project anywhere but considering the kind of brain power and the government mindset which is there today we said let's do it in india and we and against all odds we delivered it so thank you urvi to giving us this platform and we hope the situation continues to be good in india and the corona disappears soon yes so best of health to all of you we hope so too yeah. and um, i agree with you that yes the technical manpower here and the expertise here is far excellence uh, Uh, yeah. Indians are present globally in that regard. So, thank you so much, Mr. Agrawal, for joining us. I'll uh, take thank you. 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 Thank